firearms, cash, and thousands of dollars worth of jewelry, all of it linked to the same man. Police in St. Louis City and County say he hit several local businesses and at one of them swiping trays of sterling silver rings. Fox News' Kelly Hoskins has more on the crime spree and the alleged suspect who was just charged and arrested. We're right outside of Glitter on Glitz Jewelry Store here on Gravois in South County. Now, authorities say that this is one of the businesses hit by the serial burglar. The owner says that he hopes that justice is served. Police say the suspect is Joshua John Simmons Pollard. According to court records, the 25-year-old went on a crime spree in St. Louis City and County between November the 30th and December the 15th. On December the 6th, just weeks before Christmas, he was accused of busting the windows of glitter on Gravoy in Sappington Plaza, stealing thousands of dollars in merchandise. The theft was all caught on camera. The owner of the family-owned business says he's glad the suspect is behind bars. Hit my front door with a glass breaker. Came right to this case here where we had a whole bunch of jewelry of tungsten rings and uh, took as much as he could out of this. Then went over to that case right there, took a tray of sterling silver rings and then um, went to this case and took some sterling silver out of that case. Investigators say the suspect broke into jewelry cases, stealing thousands of dollars in merchandise within minutes. Now, police say they found much of the jewelry in the suspect's home, as well as the clothing the suspect was seen wearing on camera. This can happen to anybody that we've been in business here almost a decade, and, and um, there was, nothing like this has ever happened. Simmons Pollard is accused of several other burglaries, including emos on Jefferson, Tucker's Place on South 12th Street, Courtesy Diner on Hampton, and an ATM on Manchester, and many more. Detectives say he was captured on surveillance video at every burglary. He's caught. He's behind bars, and, and justice uh, will be served. Reporting in South St. Louis County, Kelly Hoskins, Fox 2 News.